All right, guys, Nate with Fishy Michiana here. Uh, today we are headed out on Lake Oliver in LaGrange, Indiana. Uh, we're going out for some rainbow and brown trout. We're gonna be doing some night fishing. I got here a little early. I'm gonna try to get some bait for some catfish, and then we're gonna set up, do some night fishing. I'll kind of show you as we go what we're doing and how we do this. It's super easy fishing. Anybody can come out and do this. Uh, today's gear we're gonna be using. I just pick these up at Clear H2O. These are Okuma. Celio, five foot ultralight rod, uh, not that much different than a ice fishing jigging rod. Uh, we got it rigged with four pound. Uh, we're using Daiwa's. Uh, I don't know the number on this Daiwa, but uh, we're using Daiwa reels, uh, light drag, and then I'll show you a little trick. You see right there that bobber stop? You notice I don't have a bobber on here. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit later how that helps and, and why that's key out here. Uh, we're just running basically a little sinker and a little Aberdeen hook. That's it. I mean, this is about as simple a rig as you can get. Anybody can do this. And hopefully this video helps you guys come out here and catch some trout. As far as bait goes, we're going to be using uh, wax worms and red worms. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get out here right now and try to get some bluegills for some bait for some uh, catfish videos coming up. Uh, until it gets dark and then once it gets dark we're gonna anchor up and I'm gonna give you a little more details how you can get out here and catch some trout so stay tuned let's see if we can get some fish in a boat all right I want to take a second and show you guys something here on these hummingbird that some of you know and some of you may not know, but let me give you a quick tutorial. And the side of this hummingbird right here is an SD card slot. In there you can put in your Lake Master chip. So for example, I have the Midwest or the Great Lakes region Lake Master chip. The problem with that is it doesn't have all the lakes. So for example, this lake I'm on today, Oliver Lake in LaGrange, as you can see, there's no contours. It, didn't, it doesn't show anything. So what you can do is replace this card with what's called a zero lines card and I'll show you a little picture of what they look like you put that card in and then all you do is this you hit the menu button right here and hit menu one more time and you're gonna it's gonna start out right here on alarms you just hit the side arrow here until you go to this little hummingbird chart right there and then from there you hit arrow down until you get to auto chart live hit the arrow to the right and then it's gonna say it's on as, as you can see I'm on right now recording so the reason you want to have the zero line chips is they all have auto chart live option, but the zero line chips will record a hundred hours of depth. And then you can simply put that in your computer, download it, uh, and then you have that lake's depth map. So obviously it requires driving around, but as I'm driving around, you can see here, it's setting the contour lines and the depth. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, so when you get out on these lakes that you don't know, for example, this lake, has a really big sandbar over in this area that I know about firsthand that if you didn't know, you know, it'd be nice to have it recorded so you can access it. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you learned something. set up for these trout what I've done is I've gone out to 60 about 63 foot of water mark some fish on a thermal climb which is about 25 feet down right now earlier I showed you uh, I told you I was gonna show you how this setup goes and this is pretty much it so split shot Aberdeen hook and the rig is pretty simple you're just gonna run a red worm like that nothing to it and you remember I told you that we were going to uh, be using the bobber stop on there what I've done is I've taken this line and measured it out to 25 feet prior to coming out here and I set this bobber stop right at 25 feet what that does is that allows me to quickly drop right back down in the fish's face at my thermal climb uh, without having to gauge my depth so there's my bobber stop right there. I'm gonna drop that all the way down. I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna drop that all the way down. 
to the water's edge. When that's at the water's edge, right there, I know I'm set at 25 feet. So we'll do this with both rods. We'll do this with both rods. We'll let them sit out and uh, it's pretty simple fishing. You'll see as we hook up, uh, they just take the rod down and uh, you reel in a trout. So easy fishing, anybody can do this. seems to be a little healthier for these fish and I'll show you what we're doing here let's get your red worm here this is an eighth ounce jig head we are just looping it over and over leaving a little tail and then make sure you're not is horizontal so it hangs horizontal or perpendicular okay so we're just gonna drop this down and I'll show you what I'm doing here
we're doing this. We got about 10 mile an hour wind and it's pushing us around a little bit. Um, but I, I guess this trip is all about adaptability. So when we came out here, we had a game plan of we're gonna run split shots and Aberdeen hooks and drive down 25 foot. And I worked and we caught some, uh, but it is, they're sucking it all the way down and it's killing every fish we catch. So obviously that's not my goal here. I'm not trying to kill a bunch of fish. I release most fish I catch. So the adaptability part of it is we're changing a little bit. We're trying something different. So we put on an 8,000 jig head went from two rods to one rod so we can control and feel the bite a little bit more and then uh, we're just kind of jigging it down and they're smacking it on the drop every time they're not hitting it on the jig up they're not hitting it when it sits still they're hitting it when it's falling down and then your line just stops almost like a blade bait fishing and that's when we're hooking them and they're good hookups it's not killing the fish uh, they seem to be releasing pretty healthy so uh, we'll do this a couple more times but if we start to have any more fish that are fatally Fish and they are blasts as you can see, they are full of energy. 
on my word. Get back down there, get after another one. All right, well with that, I think I'm gonna call it a night. It is just midnight, so it's been pretty fast action tonight again. Uh, Oliver Lake.